Okay, I've just clicked on this link. Um, I did want to point something out just in case that, um, you know, somebody was saying, oh, it, it won't load. I've actually had a few people say that now. Uh, it does take a while to load, and the reason being, I'm just going to touch that, is actually because of this big list that we download from Google. So the possibility that it may hang for a minute, uh, Chrome will actually maybe prompt you to quit. Don't just click wait, and uh, maybe go make yourself a cup of coffee or tea or something. Um, because, like I said, this this list is pretty huge. It's got uh, it, and it's got the hierarchy as best as we could find um, to get all of the product. Uh, listings as accurate as possible. Now I'm still standing by um, taking like for example right here if I was to sell a particular type of shoe I wouldn't necessarily grab from here I would grab it right here I would grab as, as top level as I possibly can. Um, if we are talking about shoes um, we'd actually scroll down to the category that contains the shoes um, I guess maybe in this case I'll use um, t-shirts. Okay. Maybe women's women's clothing. I'll do more. Okay. And I know it's in apparel and accessories, so I'll just go all the way up. Clothing and accessories. I'm just going to go up to... See what I mean? Like, holy moly, there's a... There's the... <laughs> yeah. Okay, so clothing. I'm just going to put the clothing right here. And then I'm going to make sure that these... This will be what's in... We find. This is all of the category or the uh, attributes that we found that have anything to do with your products. We're just going to list them all. And then on this side, um, what we've done is we've taken what Google wants. And one thing that I really got to point out here is the gender. And the other thing I want to point out is the age group. These are both mandatory when you're submitting any apparel and accessories products to Google. Um, they want to differentiate between teenagers and adults and toddlers and babies. Uh, you know what I mean? So. Um, that will be a part of your WooCommerce. You have to make sure that that's in um, into your WooCommerce as some type of attribute. Okay, so you, and then you can keep them all the same. So then, when we find it, we notice we haven't found we found everything except in this particular one. So I, when I hit save, I'm going to save this. Okay, change is saved. And then I'm going to click on the products XML. See, it's giving me an error. It says. You can see it right up at the top here. Google Merchant strictly requires the variants, gender, age group, color, and size. So we have whatever we have listed. We've matched them all to whatever it is. So, I mean, you're going to have different types of clothing, right? You can just put them all under the same, right, same size. And that goes for color, too. There's only one color uh, field for this one, but, um, you know, you may have four or five different types of attributes. So you, we just grab whatever one it is, and then we select it. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Now, it's going to give me an output. It'll give me the output, whatever I want. Now, it's going to be sans the correct fields, right? Um, sans is, of course, me, um, not with. <laughs> so we have our color, and what we've done is now we've replicated. So f the Google has now demanded that every single product variation requires a completely separate field. So you can see that this particular product is the exact same as this particular product, the only difference being the field size and that'll be the medium, and then of course we should have a small here. So um, now we've taken that and we've replicated that over and over again. We've kept the same um, ID number for each individual product, and then um, we have Excel, and then we have our next product. So um, whatever field that uh, you have, we'll just, you know, you can grab it. For example, gender, gender's another one, and you can see I've matched the gender down here. So what'll basically happen is, like I said, we'll grab whatever fields that you have and these will all just be kind of at the top where it says size. And then you can select the brand and the color. And you only have to save this once because now every single time, because this field isn't necessarily in this field, in this category, right? So we've grabbed them all and then we've matched them. So you don't necessarily have to go back in and resave. All you have to do is put out those permalinks that we get like the, uh, the feed links right here. Paste it in just as it is. You don't have to edit the random anymore. They're now accepting random uh, strings. So, um, and it's actually kind of good because it'll keep them on their toes because it won't be the exact same feed. Now, when we do submit it to Google Merchant Account, um, you have to keep in mind, now there's a, we, we do charge $25 to install it into there. We've now, um, this is pretty straightforward. I think we, we I'm not gonna really need to install the actual plugin for anybody anymore. It's pretty straightforward, and the interface here is pretty straightforward. 
Um, if you're using affiliate products, then of course you'd use this particular category, MX XML. And then um, your overview of the, all the categories listed. So, okay, um, that's it. Forget anything? <laughs> okay. All right. Have a nice day.